Okay, FAQ number 63. Uh, homeschool or public school? Well, uh, I did a study. Uh, it's called Our Sunday School and VBS Scriptural Practices. And in that study, I get into the thing of showing from the King James Bible that there's not one verse that says that anyone but parents should teach children. Uh, so I'm not going to get into all those scriptures here. Um, and, you know, I think it's very important to understand that, that the parents are the ones that are supposed to teach their children. And when you have other people coming in, and especially public school nowadays, I mean, public school 100 years ago was still wrong, but today it's just not even an option. Okay, uh, with all the uh, environmentalist, weirdo Al Gore stuff going on with teaching global warming to children and teaching evolution theory and all this other stuff. Um, if you're a Christian parent and you have children that are in the public school system, you need to get them out. Uh, make whatever sacrifices that you have to make. Uh, move to a smaller home in the country someplace or some just get out of the area where you are uh, where you can homeschool your children. It's it's a, a very, very, very serious thing to have children in public school. I mean, I've heard nightmare stories of, of sodomite clubs and things among students and, uh, you know, that they actually have, you know, school-approved sodomy clubs, you know, gay clubs, you know, whatever. And uh, I, I remember my one uh, nephew was going to a public school down in Pennsylvania, graduated now, but he said that there were students that would go out, they'd have cigarette breaks, you know, I mean, that was like if you got caught with cigarettes back even when I was in school in the 1980s, you know, you got caught with cigarettes, you got in serious trouble. I mean, you were suspended and whatever else. You know, now they get cigarette breaks. They go out. I mean, it's just public school is not an option. Uh, homeschooling, um, I can't endorse anything under the, under the umbrella of homeschooling because there are some practices within homeschooling that are just public schooling done at home. Um, online schooling is very bad. I mean, you're, you're going to get a lot of the public school agenda coming through the computer and your child has to be on the computer every day. I shy away from that. A lot of the uh, homeschooling curriculum, uh, it's put out and things, there's some bad stuff too there. I mean, this, this is something that you're going to have to really research. Uh, you know, again, you know, I, I think going back to the old ways of, uh, I remember seeing there's a guy, uh, Joel Saladin, um, he's, he's a kind of an organic farmer in Virginia and, uh, I, you know, I don't endorse everything that the guy says, but my point is I saw an interview with him and he said about homeschooling his own children. And he said, my children learn to add and subtract from a tape measure. In other words, they worked on the farm. Uh, they were working around the property and stuff there and, and they taught them to add and subtract with a tape measure and they taught them to, you know, do this and do that, whatever. That's, that's the way it should be. And I think that the Bible should be one of the, should be the foundational textbook for your children. And there are some other good old uh, books out there that can also teach children. But something I want to really address, and this is this philosophy that your children have to go to public school uh, in order to not be shielded and that they will not develop properly if they're just at home with their own siblings, you know, and with their own parents that somehow you have to expose your children to the world so that they don't become socially awkward. Uh, well, that's kind of funny because I went through public school, graduated from public school. I never even knew anything about homeschooling. Graduated in 1994, tells you how old I am. And I went through public schooling and I still came out socially awkward. Okay, so a <laughs> bunch of nonsense. But I'm going to show you uh, one of the biggest problems with the public schooling agenda, Romans chapter 12, verse 2. It says here, And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Okay, um, sending a child to public school, the temptation there, the peer pressure to conform to the world is going to be very, very, very strong. And I mean, you might get a child that is that is saved and that they really, really try to fight the system, but you can't expect to swim through a cesspool and come out without smelling bad. You know, I mean, you're you're going to pick up things. That you're going to have a very hard time. A child's going to have a very hard time staying focused on the things of the Lord. 
going through the public school system. And, and again, if you've seen the last, last FAQ, I know that if there are saved teens that have lost family members and you might be forced to go to public school, that's a different situation. Okay, um, I mean, pray about it. Maybe God will work a miracle there. Your parents might get saved and be able to homeschool you. I don't know. It's a rough situation to go through. But what I'm saying is I'm addressing Christian parents with this video and understand you sending your children off to a public school someplace, that peer pressure, that, that desire to conform to the world is going to be very, very strong. And when I went to public school, I was shown, I'd go to friends' houses and stuff like that. I was shown pornography. Uh, they had pornography in school. They'd sneak it in and stuff like this, you know, magazines and things. Of course, there was no internet back then, but, you know, I mean, now it's like, majorly worse. I mean, I've seen children uh, in local areas here, I've seen children mimicking, you know, fornication, uh, you know, and these children are probably under 10 years old. I mean, they're watching it on the internet, you know, I mean, if pornography, just open total video pornography is available to anybody. And so I picked up a pornography addiction from public school. I started to listen to secular heavy metal Metallica and Megadeth, ACDC, that kind of stuff, the older 80s bands, you know, I picked that up from public school. I was offered drugs on numerous occasions. And this is a small, you know, Peckway Valley High School is a small town, a little farm school, farm communities, farm kids, you know. I mean, there was kids that were getting drunk in accidents and things. I don't know how many times I was offered cigarettes, you know. Uh, there was fornication like crazy back when I was in high school. I mean, we're, and this is all stuff that your children have to be exposed to so that they don't develop social problems. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a little bit, um, <laughs> counterproductive there, I would say, you know, uh, no, you need to keep your children away from that. And don't worry about this thing of, oh, my children are going to grow up socially awkward and whatever else. And again, let me, let me give you another little thing here because there's another deal that that happens a lot when you have Babel buildings and a lot of homeschooling families they'll kind of get together and they'll bring their children together to to be able to have play time and stuff like this so they don't have social problems and all this this mind controlled thing you know a child that's that grows up in the middle of nowhere and only sees family members and goes to town occasionally they're going to grow up to be some kind of a weird monster that you know is horrified of people that's nonsense absolute nonsense being around other children uh, is not going to mean anything for their development. Okay, that's that's modern day psychiatry. You know, it's it's just it's it's psychiatry is a false science. If you've seen my study on that, but there was a homeschool group down in the area where I was living uh, there in Pennsylvania, down in the Brickerville area. Um, there they were kind of in that area, the the Lidditz, Ephrata area of, of uh, kind of northern Lancaster County and these homeschoolers would get all, all get together and uh, there was a, a young man there named David Ludwig and he was a, in a homeschool group and a friend of mine um, Derek Stoll uh, used to be part of our house church he was in this homeschool group and this David Ludwig was there in this group and there was a young girl and David Ludwig and this young girl were fornicating David Ludwig I think was 17, 18, something like that. Maybe I think it was 18. And this girl was like 15 years old. And so they were fornicating. Well, her parents found out about it and they had David Ludwig come over and they said, you're not ever going to see our daughter again. You're not allowed to date her or anything else. And David Ludwig pulled a pistol out and shot both the parents in the head and took the girl and tried to run, ended up getting caught by police. And he's now spending life in prison. A homeschooling family. You know, King James only, homeschooling, the whole thing, you know. So, uh, oh, my children have to be around other children or else they'll develop social problems. No, I don't think so. Okay, uh, don't feel pressured. I'm not saying you should not allow your children to be around any other children. I mean, if they have a friend that lives down the street or something and the friend's not messing them up or whatever else, okay, fine, that's fine. If you have some saved people in your in your neighborhood or in your near, local area, that's fine. You can meet with them. But don't feel this pressure put on you that you just have to conform and you have to make sure that your children are around lots of other children or else they'll come out socially weird. Uh, that's, that's a lie. 
uh, you aren't going to find that teaching in Scripture.